okay so let's give it a shot uh, first I'll add the, this layer next I'll open the attribute table and take the grid count one so select the attributes grid code plus two apply select them next I'll export them so let's create a folder named is not okay so it exports somewhere else now <coughs> let's remove this layer and okay that that is okay and now let's add the boundary file make it open and I will calculate the area but before that I want to change the projection system and I will add web it will be calculated in square kilometers so this is the one next I will do uh, intersection so for intersection I will use the output flag and district boundary I will select Management, create a new folder. Okay, so that is not it. I will go to flat data, output one, and save as flat BD. Save and press OK. So I will get a new layer, hopefully, that shows all this and some of this. taking a bit time like always and finally I have it let's click this and ok so this is the flat layer let's open the attribute table for this and I will say that here we have the district name district ID and areas of them so let's see the district and we have 6039 um, rows here so okay I have that now let's do some area calculation for that we have to add fields named shape area so maybe flood area and the type will be double calculate the flood area this will be also in square kilometers and we have something like this so we will use the buffer tool next sorry the dissolve tool so in dissolve tool we will add this layer and check out the district district ID and areas in the dissolve fields 
and in the here we will use the flood area and select the statistics type to sum and for the output we will select the name this flood data maintenance results result and save this and let's press ok so i'll get another layer like this one and okay let's color it orange something like orange okay so let's remove this layer and now we have something like this okay so if i open this layer it shows that i have 63 selected and the flood areas and areas of this this looks like this one you see so uh, I have done all this and now let's calculate some things like the flood percentage so for this I will have to add another layer named flood percentage calculator I will write that um, sum of flood area into 100 divided by the total area and press ok <coughs> so the flood percentage is calculated and let's see so we have Shunam Gant, Kishu Gant, Shiraj Gant, Manik Gant and Etrobanas like this one so we have this here and uh, okay so after that we will go and find some district name populations and these things so for this I'll have to open the this one and go to the district population So in district population as you can see that we have the population here but one thing we that is missing that we started here uh, let's see we started here with B Brahmanbaria but here we have Bagahat at first and Brahmanbaria is <coughs> here so let's move this one Next, I'll have to calculate the factor. Like here, the factor. So for the factor, I have factor and the projected population. So the factor will be. is from, from 2011 and for I will calculate this for 2016 so we have five years so to the power five and the factor will be okay let's calculate this So 
with this one. So I'll have to write it here. Okay. Okay, so that did it. I forgot the equals to and this I will have to go through all of them. Tabula and I'll calculate equals to this into this. Press enter and I'll get the projected population for everyone and let's calculate them all. And the thing I need here is the district ID. So the district ID I can get from district boundary and here I have the district ID and division ID. So let's add them. the serial here right so this serial is matching matching with this one so I just copy this here so we have the district ID and division ID this is just for joining them so I cannot uh, I, I will have to export this so I'll save it as <coughs> let me see and save it here district population and save it as 97.9.2003 workbook save ok so next I will be joining them so I will join this with Let's validate the join so it matches. And press OK and let's see. So we have the projected population, district ID, division ID, all of them here. So I have the district ID twice and also this, this one twice. So let's fill it, turn off this field. I have all of this here and next thing I want to do is I will have to calculate the population so the calculating the population will be done by adding a layer named um, effective population right so population Effective population will be calculated by using the mm, I will use the flood percentage projected population. Sorry, I will use the flood uh, projected population and into the flood percentage. So, the flood percentage divided by 100 and press ok so the affected population will show here so I have the affected population here and also one thing I, ha I haven't seen here is there are 63 districts here one is missing and that is the bundle one so what I'll have to do I'll have to join this again so let's join it with district boundary Mm, I will join this with ok this is selected and I did the district boundary to select this and here also the district ID and validate joins so 63 of 64 records matched ok so here let's open the table and I will see that there are everything here just the boundary one have some null values so what I will do I will export this layer Okay, this is 
not be accepted. So ID should be twice. If I don't need this one, so let's delete this thing. Okay, I have a district area, district ID twice. So let's turn off the district district area. I have twice. So let's turn this one off. I have district name twice. This too. So what I'll do is I have the bundle one here and as you can see that it has null values. I'll have to write those down again. So for the area I have this is just for the using using this. Okay. I even don't need that to Actually, calculate anything. So, okay, this is done. If you want it to, okay, let's go to the properties. Let's cancel this one. And yeah, it's doing classify this. So, I'll go to the symbology tab and use the quantities, graduated color, use the value fields of affected population and this is here so I'll classify using ok not the affected population let's go to the uh, percentage third percentage and I'll classify using ok let's see what I did use uh, percentage 5, 10, 25 and 50 so let's use them 5, 10, 25 so that doesn't matter actually uh, okay and after that but actually you have to do the intersection there or joining otherwise this uh, district won't come so let's change it here okay in the symbology tab sorry in the labels tab I'll show the label the features district name area I'll use the board symbols and in the placement properties I'll remove the duplicate labels apply and here I get them and after that I can get it here so let's see I'll use something like it to be and then I'll just move it here so that was a bit to do the mapping part and I will not be going through that. So I hope this works. <laughs> 